Again, we're here in Pearl today. They lent us their office, so we need to give a big shout out and thank <laughs> you to them first. So thank you very much. Yes. Uh, we'll put a link to their website uh, in the bottom of the video just for everybody to see. Um, today I'm joined by a few guests here to talk about topics. I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Billy Aller. I'm from Palau. Otis from Chuk. And I'm Russell from the State of Yap. Before we get into our big discussion, though, just one quick disclaimer. These things we're talking about, it's just our opinions yes. on these things. Uh, in no way are we going to be saying that these are all factual, uh, yes. written in stone. Um, it's again, just our opinions, so please don't sue us, <laughs> as always. Right. Uh, so we have a lot of topics to go over today. So before going, let's just start with number one. Uh, we got the FSM bill to have four seats in Congress just for women. Uh, I think uh, Sammy has the actual... I can read the proposition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it goes to propose an amendment to the Constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia for the purpose of guaranteeing the representation of women in Congress by creating, as a temporary special measure, additional seats in Congress and for other purposes. This is Bill 20 116. I think as we have two women here with us uh, today, mm -hmm. I want to hear from them first. So. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's so many things to say about this. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, just you reading how the bill is worded, that yeah. already, like, start, like, <coughs> setting off all these triggers for me because it aims to guarantee something, and at the same time, and it's in the same sentence, in the same breath, it's uh, kind of doing the exact opposite thing yeah. and it it's really it's really um muddying a lot of issues that uh, I, they need to be separated and identified i think well i feel like i need to do that because i think it's clear that people are not really understanding how like where it's wrong there's so many areas where it's wrong i feel in my opinion i'm curious about what temporary special measure means right is that a particular I don't know, that's a good question. It's like... I'll probably outline yeah. the term, the limit, the term, length, maybe not term, but how long that this specific... Right, yeah. Enact, when, once it's enacted, how long it'll last. Yeah. Right, yeah. So it's not going to be like four it's like seats a test. in perpetuity. Right, yeah. I yeah. feel like they're doing it to try to inject um, some diversity in Congress. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not immediate. A bad thing. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing, but... There's some specifics here. Let, let me just read some specifics yeah. that people objected to. So it also reads one female member elected at large from each state. So that means that the entire state has to vote for that one, yeah, that one seat for each state. So one seat per state. And then also, instead of having the regular four year term, it'll be two year terms for at large seats. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So a lot of people were. They didn't like that. Oh, <laughs> they were like, well, what, you, yeah. you, what, there's one more other thing that's added, uh, right? Like, they can't vote. They're allowed to yes, that's, sit that's in on biggest. committees. Also, so they, can, <laughs> they can't vote. They don't have voting power. Yeah. But they can sit on, yeah, as you yeah. said, they can sit on committees. They can talk. Yeah. Is <laughs> so this is kind of... A, <coughs> they can be there, it's a, but they can't. Yeah. They don't have any agency. Mm -hmm. And so... Yes. Where's that representation? That's kind of ceremonial position. Right? right, yeah. So maybe maybe those four things are temporary, maybe, but we don't know yet because uh, they haven't s explained what they mean by temporary special measures. Mm. It's, you, oh, yeah. Do you guys think this is the way we're supposed to be getting women to be in? Hell no, this <laughs> is not the way. And I don't, I really doubt that the person who came up with this probably didn't consult very many women because it's not it's a good point yeah, yeah. it's interesting yeah. L like if you're trying to help a certain group of people the the right thing you should do is ask them how is the best way to help you not this is going to help you like i uh it could yeah. just be they're trying to gauge the public on this thing too can't necessarily say this is, i'm totally for this mm. It's also worth noting that this isn't the first time a bill like this popped up. Oh, really? This is actually like the fourth. So there was another one in the early 90s, I believe. And then recently, maybe two, three years ago. And then maybe five years before that. 
so there have been different versions of this bill, but it's always been the same to grant women. four seats just for women. Yeah. And I bet it's all been ideas generated primarily by men. Well, yes, because all throughout <laughs> yeah. throughout FSM's years, it's, it's always been men in Congress. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so if we can just jump to the poll that you put out. Yes. That was really interesting because um, if I could see it and read it, okay. Like the different options that you gave to people, it was really interesting because I found myself conflicting. Like you would say, agree. So like the first one say, agree. Women need congressional representation. One hundred percent agreed. Next one, disagree. What does that say? Does gender or sex shouldn't be a qualification for Congress? And I agree with that one hundred percent. Okay, yeah. but the point I think is that that is the case. Mm -hmm. You just said it yourself, up until now, it's always been men in Congress, right. yeah. and it's kind of this unsaid quali gender qualifier already. You right. have to be male in order to reach these upper echelons, echelons of government. How do you say that? Yeah, if, yeah the, the other thing is, like, if you have this, if it passes, does that mean that the other 14 seats are just for men? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's without saying it, mm. it's like we're implying that Oh, why are you running for those seats? You know, we I'll made like you a, a seat. I'm a guilty little loophole. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, this is, I don't think any self-respecting woman would think, like, I want to have special favors so that I can achieve something. I think mm. all we want is a level playing field and, right. like, equal chance, you know? If a person says, I want to run for something, then someone's not going to be so like, this will never happen because you're a woman. You're thinking right now, already it's not equal like they don't have a chance oh yeah to. okay yes that's a good question <laughs> yes and i will ask you guys as well your personal opinions do you not think this is the way i think in point Bay it's a bit different um but let's talk about koshai i don't know about chuk i don't know about yap either mm -hmm. but i don't see women in government and coming from my personal stories i have been told point blank that i would never be able to make it what, said that? because I'm a, a female okay. and it's ridiculous to me someone so, told you that yes someone okay. told me that wow. um, and it's 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 not just me I'm sure it doesn't even have to really be said that's just the way our culture is so what I would instead have proposed is that that exact thing that you said that gender should not be a quali qualifier qualification, yeah. qualification for any kind of government position that right. should be written into the constitution instead mm. because that would protect everybody both men and women although i think you would agree if that were to be written who would benefit the most mm -hmm. it wouldn't be men because that's just kind of the status quo as it is it would be women it would be girls it would be uh people <clears throat> who have not been able to do that yeah before we move on, yeah. I, I just, just want to say the poll's still out there, so you people can still vote. We'll have the link on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, are we yeah. moving on? No. no, no, no. I just wanted to throw that before in there you before, forget. Forget. <laughs> before <laughs> I forget. Before I forget. Sorry. Could yeah. could I see the poll again? Too? Sure. And I find it so ironic that so many people voted for that, and yet yeah. you don't see, uh, like the the earlier poll. I accidentally deleted it, <laughs> so this is the second <laughs> version. Okay. I'm sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's still the same outcome, though. Yeah. Uh, 50, 56% voted for the no. disagree gender shouldn't be a qualification. Yeah. Yeah, and I really agree with that as well. And I also, if we're talking about like an ideal government, ideal society, I do not think government should be so powerful that they should be determining how people think and how they feel. Like, if you want to be sexist, mm. go ahead and be sexist. But... Um, Unfortunately, like that, that, that has no place in government. And in our case, something definitely needs to be done. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it's really hard, you know, with the Me Too movement going on here. That's not doing anything. <laughs> like it's not, oh. it hasn't moved to back home at all. And I don't think it will. Oh gosh, Anytime thank soon. you for bringing yeah. that up too. <laughs> See, if you <laughs> had ahead. asked women, how can we help you? It yes, would be sh yeah. it would be stuff like that. I almost swore. It you would can. be stuff like so. that. It'd be protecting girls and women from right. vi like domestic violence, from uh, sexual harassment. I'm using these 
like Western terms, but I think any girl could totally identify with me. You know, you've been there with that creepy uncle, with that disgusting, <laughs> like lecherous person of power who looked at you gross and made you feel gross. Like I feel you. This is this is how it is. This is a reality for many of us. And I'm like a coming from a place of privilege, you know, and it's happened to me. I can't even imagine what it's like for mm. other girls who are less vocal and. There is that program in the Marshalls where they're offering help to women who have been abused. Yeah, Dude. I think they had 14 women come in. Yeah. I don't know that you're talking about the Marshalls, though. I wish we had someone from the Marshalls here because they have a female president. Exactly. Right. They have women in their Senate. So what's the difference in our government? What's going on over there? Yeah, yeah. What, what, yeah. in the culture, the political culture, at least. As, as far as I know, I think there's one lady in Pont Bay's state government. Mm. And then there's, I think, two over in two. I can only name Cartania, but I don't know. I think there's another one, yeah. But that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. It is. Trailblazers. And, like, I am sh so sure that it will continue to develop, and yeah. I don't think we need something like this right. to prove that we belong up there. Like, I remember somebody saying in the comments that, you know, if there were a qualified person, for sure they would endorse them. There are so many qualified women out there. They just have never been allowed to. And it's not like it has to be said, you're not allowed to. It's just kind of like this unsaid, unspoken, this is the way it is. So mm -hmm. if instead <clears throat> they wanted to make a bill that would try to improve representation of women, enter in something like that, that exact same, the wording I like, the wording that you use, I really like. Mm -hmm that gender should not be any qualifier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so that if a woman or a young girl decided that they wanted to pursue mm. and someone treated them that way because they were like they they were sexist themselves, they could cite the constitution and be like I'm going to sue you. You can't do that to me. <laughs> you, yeah. yeah, I think that's probably a better way to do it. And maybe there are other ways to do it, but you should probably consult women about it. It's interesting because you can frame this as them trying to be inclusive and at the same time, <laughs> this, this is, like is sexist also. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. But you have to imagine, do they know what they're doing? Like, or did they just do this? I'll give them a hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't throw like, them a bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did they, like, what was the intention behind this? You know? I feel like they had, they felt like they had to add in that little thing to okay. appease the sexist people who would be like I don't agree with this but you know it's really unfair because you cannot agree with it and not be sexist like I don't agree with this mm. but I mean at the same time <laughs> it's like I'm shooting myself in the foot because we're maybe yeah. given this opportunity I don't want to lose my woman card and be like no I won't take this <coughs> because I think the main thing is that they would be sitting on committees right right yeah. and then they would be talking and weighing on but yeah. but then there's that whole stuff that's like Without those other three yeah. things, like like the two-year terms and no voting power, right? Before I read that, just the proposition alone, I was like, this is interesting. And, then, and I agreed with it. But then, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But it's a really complicated. Yeah. Like, yeah. I went through cycles of thinking it yeah. was a good thing. And the, the no voting part, that's, that, was, that was a game changer for me. Yeah. yeah they, they, they're, it's like... I don't know. It's uh. Well, that's, that's it's like pageantry, you know. <laughs> it it's is. Like, Here's your seat. Like, just let us do. Yeah. The, like they're using the yeah. word representation in yeah. like its second definition in the uh in the dictionary, where it's not like, or it means like it's a a, a representation of something and not <laughs> the actual thing. That's good. <laughs> that's what I felt yeah. like. Oh, sneaky lawyers <laughs> writing it that way. <laughs> it's true. It's, it is a representation. <laughs> No. There, there are three comments here. Let me just read them out. That was on the poll. Uh, one, they're all anonymous. So one said, "Well intended, but discriminate, discriminatory on yeah. its face. Yeah, can accomplish goal by other means. Yeah. Yes. Another one is, I think we should fight to preserve our culture, cultural values that empower our being. And then the last one is, my Christian should vote for people who are capable. <laughs> I agree with all of those. Yeah, yeah. I think I know who wrote one of those. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's, it's touchy. It's yeah, it's really 
it's, it can get really messy, man. Yeah, but I don't it know any. Have to be. Yeah, I don't know any woman that agrees with this. Like I've talked to some of my relatives, some of my friends from from back home, and then they're like, "This is bullshit." And you, and you can't <laughs> no imagine those it, yeah. people that are just like, "Well, if a woman could run, why isn't there one already?" <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Oh, like, oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a really tough... That's a good point. <laughs> I don't know. I was talking with Delia about it. Like, how do you even begin to encompass all the reasons why women, like, feel like they aren't allowed to run for these positions? Like, and I guess part of you... Part of me is, like, maybe we should just suck it up and face whatever we need to face to overcome these things. But that is not <clears throat> fair. Like, do guys need to face these things when they decide that they want to run for a seat so like that the thing i said about my relative who told me that that would never happen they laughed at me if i were a guy and if i had expressed a desire to pursue government i do believe i would have been encouraged 100 percent, and it would have been fostered and i definitely would have been laughed at for no other reason than the fact that i have an x chromosome instead of a y chromosome and i was born with milk bags and a thingy instead of, you know, <laughs> another thingy. It's ridiculous to me. Uh, ugh. And I think it is to you guys, you know, to be fair, like, you guys, I think, are totally um, to your credit. <laughs> like, it, it makes sense to you guys, too, but the problem is there's so many other people who just don't but um, Let me ask you it. this way. The, going back to the temporary special measure, if what if this was only for two years and then after two years we talk about it again and see how it went how the two years went would you be more open to that well they should put that in the original measure yeah like yeah. provisional if they put that in there what do you, what do you guys think would, would you be more in favor well, i'm not voting two years no i don't no, know still no i think the the mixed feelings are so much because of like Basically, it's like a bone thrown yeah. by the system. Consolation prize. Yeah, it's the consolation <laughs> prize, you know. Yeah. And so it's like it's we see place. this as like, oh, maybe this is like our, our chance, our first chance in a while, even though hmm. apparently three other times it has not passed or right. similar measures have not passed for whatever reason. But then, you know, to settle for something like that. Yeah, and like it, just to be really clear, if your question is if you were to change the yes. voting option. what would you change... What would you change in this this bill to make it something that you would agree with? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Nothing. If the question were <laughs> to, uh, if we allowing people to vote, if that would make it better, then the answer is yes, it would make it better. But yeah. is that the solution? I don't think that's, that's the solution. That would be sexist. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that's going to solve like the underlying problems yeah. that prevent women from doing right absolutely. i think that's the core accomplishing of it. things yeah that absolutely. is definitely it yeah, yeah. so the yeah. government does the government need to figure out a way to get women in or oh that's a good question i think or making it in the constitution where you can't discriminate uh, based on gender would help countless I, I think it's in there it's probably in there yeah if, if is it really I don't know. It's one of those, like, if it's not <laughs> written, sure? and then just look at this other people's... Because, you know, in the United States Constitution, it wasn't in there for the longest time. Well, yeah, but I think we follow whatever the U.S. <coughs> if it's not written in ours, we usually refer to the U.S. The, the interesting thing oh. is also, I believe, in our Constitution, it says that culture should be taken into account in everything, right? So, is it in our culture to discriminate against women? Um, yes. But it's also interesting because, like, culture is always changing so yes. Yes. what does that mean which you know? which culture are we trying to preserve <laughs> exactly and mm. which culture like in the fsm are we looking at you know what i mean because if you go to chug alone there's like a sh um, like a medley of different cultures so which one do you look at <laughs> which chooks uh yeah mm. <laughs> True. but it's it's complicating it's interesting uh is there an fsm culture as a, a national culture, Ugh. an amalgamation. Yeah, yeah, it's or a like thing a too. There is, there I feel has like to there be. Is. It exists. We exist, so there <laughs> has to be. We don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we should move on to our next topic. <laughs> Unless you guys have yeah. like one last thing, like a, one final jab. I just wanted to point out that that particular 
um, thing. Mm. <laughs> Can you, I can't remember what it is, but that really is like you you hit the nail on the head. The the and one of the options in the poll. Yeah. Okay. You want me to read it? Gender as a qual sure. qualifier. Yeah. It shouldn't be a qualifier. No, it shouldn't yeah. be, and I think women would agree with that as well. And if that were made clear, it would benefit women. To be fair, I didn't write that option. I think it was I can't remember who. I didn't put that in originally. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it, I think people already agree yeah. with that. They just don't realize that it's already. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to whoever put gave me that option. Oh. I just realized now that <laughs> I didn't write that in there. Yeah, someone gave me that option. Sorry. Oh no no. Yeah. It's just <laughs> ironic because I don't think people realize that there's already a gender that is a qualifier, mm. and it is the male gender, and it's always been that way since the inception of the country and it remains to be that way from what I've seen at least in Congress and um, there's a bigger discussion here yeah. it's about oh, yeah it's it, it does lead into culture right it leads into how women have been their roles the role that women have played in culture and how it's changed and or how it hasn't changed colonization <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of things to go yeah. into because like I would I remember asking someone about this and then they said they're totally against it the same thoughts that you have and then I asked them well then are you against the culture like our culture of women have to be second women have to be respectful to men and it's like no that's different mm -hmm. like how is it different and then it's like, because and then she uh -huh. couldn't really give me an answer. Oh, she. Yes. Yikes. Yeah. He. <laughs> no. They. Yeah. yeah. But it's I interesting because it's, uh, when it comes to politics, right, it's easy to debate about ideas in politics because it's, it's something that was introduced to us. But when it comes to culture, there's always that, that one person that says, you shouldn't be talking about it because it's not your place. Because that's also part of the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? True, Especially yeah. as people who are not considered elders, you know? So maybe that's where she was coming from. Like, she could openly talk about this bill. But then when I asked her about, so why can't you apply that same idea to how we treat women based on our culture? It's like, oh, that's different. We can't really talk about that. You know, it's, it's yeah, different. I think that's what I was trying to get at about yeah. the government trying to, is this something that the government should be trying to do? Yeah, yeah, that's, good we that's a great question. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were talking about one of our polls mm. just now. Let's talk about another one that we put up recently, which oh, was yeah. the one about uh, the Polynesian voyaging, voyaging Society. And I think the question was, uh, are Polynesians culturally appropriating Micronesian navigation? And let's just go over the results real quick before we okay. dive into the <coughs> discussion. So as you said, the poll is, are Polynesians culturally appropriating Micronesian navigation? Want to read out the options? Yeah. So yes, it's not 100% Polynesian. They shouldn't call it Polynesian navigation. No, Micronesians help Polynesians reclaim traditional knowledge. Yes, they replace their lost traditions with Micronesian knowledge. No, it was gifted to them by Mao Piaiduk. Yes, they are profiting from a gift. No, the knowledge was dying. Polynesians are saving it for everyone. Yeah, so on this poll, uh, the top vote getter at 22% was no. It's not, it's not cultural appropriation. And it's Micronesians help Polynesians reclaim a lost knowledge. And then second was Yes, it is cultural appropriation at <laughs> 20%. Wow. And then they replace their lost traditions with Micronesian knowledge. Wow. So it's like, and it's changing every day. Wow. So yesterday it was yes, today it's no. Wow. <laughs> we'll link to it in yeah, the description. So and it's still open, you can still participate. Yeah. So let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 let's not move on. What do you guys think? Okay. I thought uh. it was interesting how you defined a cultural appropriation in the the write up you wrote to mm. be, um, to support the poll, and how it it was tied into how the oppressed well the oppressed person feels about it. Yeah. So, so. it 
it seems by definition that it would vary from person to person. Right. Yeah. I think it's worth it's it's worth bringing up that I've I've realized that this poll has been shared yeah. with the Polynesian communities yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. I think the I think it's the Tongan Voyaging Society. Yeah. And then yeah. I saw that. Are you <laughs> able to track where like the demographics of the respondents? No, can't. Mm-hmm. Need to pay for that. <laughs> They're broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would be interesting. Yeah. Who's voting what? Yeah. I think it would be really important to know the motivations behind like who's voting for what. Yeah. Because yeah. like even like let's just restrict this to Micronesian respondents, mm-hmm. people who are here and kind of have that, you know, maybe I could call it resentment toward mm-hmm. like say the treatment of Micronesians in Hawaii in general yeah. Yeah. not necessarily by any particular group but just in general that we're always not celebrated yeah. you know well it's 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 interesting you brought that up because one of the comments says I'll just read the first sentence the Polynesians hate us and call us roaches yeah. but yet turn around and steal Micronesian navigation and call it Polynesian there's a lot of bias going into answering yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like someone on the ground with very bad experiences, yes, which yeah. is really unfortunate, it but is. it's happening. <coughs> well, there was a lot of controversy about Maupiel sharing that. Back now, in the day? Yeah, like when he first wow. did. I think until now. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. But before we go on, I think it's an also important for us to say that we are not tied to that family or that tradition mm-hmm. so uh, we'll I, I apologize if it's not our place to talk about it but we're talking about it in the context of uh, Hawaiians or Polynesians using it yeah. right so yeah just a little <laughs> disclaimer just throw that yeah in of there. course yeah. it's our opinion <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah there was a lot of controversy initially I think he, he, he did it without kind of a blessing from other people really i think he just decided to on his own and he was it was dying mm. at the time and i think that was his way of trying to preserve it but there's a lot of different sides to this story and right words. i think because this this question has been floating around among like our group for years mm. right and then the first time that i really <sighs> took notice to it and it, it would it became serious to me personally was when someone from who was tied to that family to the tradition of, of voyaging told me that it's it's wrong and then I think mm-hmm. what they said was and I apologize if I don't remember this correctly but as I remember it what was said was better to have had the knowledge die in our hands than to have it live in someone else's right that's how I remember it but that's again that's one person's interpretation right and it's it's possible that that's just an out an outsider an outlier yeah but you know the person who has the authority to give this knowledge was was Mao so me personally I don't think it's appropriation right the gifting but there is an argument to be made about what they've done with it Right now, that's that's where most of the much of the argument is for me. Should they call it Polynesian? Should they call it Hawaiian navigation? At this point, I don't think they should. I think they should call it something more inclusive. Yeah. Pacific, Oceanian, but calling it Polynesian and Hawaiian is disingenuous. It's not. It's it's not right to me. What if they were to do this? We were practicing, like an Oceanian version of navigation but mm-hmm. our specific one is the Polynesian branch of that yeah I, I think <coughs> I don't know I think that draws up questions so from my Pacific Island Studies classes that I've taken um, one of the things that we're taught to do is be critical of labels that were set in place by the Western world right, yeah. so like what is Polynesia what is Micronesia what is Melanesia Precisely. And also the fact that f- throughout Pacific history, groups have been commingling and sharing languages and cultures, like up until now. So like, what makes it different now that we're alive and we kind of have access? Like we know mm-hmm. what's going on. It's not like a thousand years ago where we don't mm-hmm. know what's going on and how the sharing is happening. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, just some things to think about, because um, I'm kind of on the point. fence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. There's a. There's also a point that. Uh, so I think at one of the community colleges here, they're teaching traditional Polynesian or traditional Hawaiian navigation, hmm. but you have to. Pay. pay for it yeah you have to pay for it so my question is it was supposed to be free yeah w w i thought it was supposed to be free and so let's say for example and how is uh appropriating that yeah <laughs> so that's that's where the question of they're profiting from a gift you know but yeah. if, if i had one thing that i wanted to change from this article it's i probably shouldn't have said polynesian maybe maybe hawaiian or point out specifically the group that's doing it mm. but then when i thought about that Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> PBS is. Yeah. Is it them who is calling it Polynesian uh, navigation in so many words? That's or? pretty old too, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. It's, it's like. Seven that's from way yeah. back. That's even before Mao was around, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just that they happen to have yeah. made contact with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mutually mm -hmm. they. Yeah. But then again, as I said before, <laughs> I don't. There's no th I don't find anything wrong with him sharing, right? It's what's going on afterwards i think at this point at this time i think it's time to change that to change the name and rebrand it yeah that's that's where i'm at <laughs> that's kind of annoying that they would charge people to learn these things well what is yeah. it like that i can see it. it's like an operational cost yeah maybe I it's not yeah. for profit mm. yeah i understand but right. then can't the cost be borne by something else mm like the government like pay what no. you can no i, I don't, know I don't that know. it might be unrealistic but i mean like yeah, yeah i think um for something to cost something in this world is very um to be expected yeah but i was curious what you meant how they're profiting from it is that what well they have to asking? charge pe the school has to charge you have to pay for the class yeah, yeah. but i i understand that yeah not to defend it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That has to be part of it, like to maintain all the. I just think it'd be awkward if, like, a descendant, or like an ancestor of, like, someone from Satan, went over like, goes there and, and then yeah, is like, "Do I have to pay <laughs> to? Are you registered? Learn my. <laughs> I think that's a particular like case I'm thinking about. Like, are there access ways for like Micronesian youth, for like, um, yeah. like Hawaiian youth to get these mm -hmm. this knowledge for free? Like, if there are, then you know. Like short of flying to these islands themselves. <laughs> right, and exactly. Learning. It would be like the schools here, the Kamehameha schools. Mm. But let's not get into That's that. a huge foundation. Yeah, there. okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we were talking about <coughs> profiting. Way to lead into our next topic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Just this Chuuk State it. gambling <laughs> bill. <laughs> um, we have an article coming up pretty soon about this. Uh, We'll try to get a link if we can once it's available. But I'm going to let Sammy talk about this bill a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as Russell said, we have a piece coming out. We, uh, Some of our members in Chuuk, they sat down with Karteni Isaac, Senator Karteni, one, uh, uh, a woman in politics. Yeah. And uh, she's been real cool, like, <laughs> with us. Like, She's always, she's been contacting us. She wants to talk. She wants to talk politics. She wants to help out. And she's so shout out for that. So the gambling bill. Let me just read the proposition. So amending Chuuk state law by exempting internet gaming from the prohibition on gambling by adding a new section. Sec section 6 to establish the minimum license fee for operation of internet gaming establishment in the state by providing penalty for violation thereof and for other purposes. So sex, section six is basically any person applying to operate any gaming establishment in the state through utilization of the internet shall not be issued a gaming license without payment of a license fee of $100,000 a month or 1.2 million a year. In addition of state share of 5% of the gross business receipts after each business year. So, yeah, I, I, it's, in in the interview we had with Cartenia, it's, there, she mentions that there is an outside company that has already went, flown to Chuuk, mm -hmm. and they've pitched their business, their company, and 
I don't know. It looks fishy. <laughs> is it? They pitched an internet business. Yeah. Yeah. They I, mean, I have a question. They about already that. have a uh, online gambling business in the Philippines, and they want to start one. They want to host it like, in Chu. So this is not a like server. you go to they a casino and play games. No, they're just gonna not. host the yeah. the business there. Yeah. So their servers will be there, yeah. and their admins okay. will be and there. And whatever revenue they make will be ta- like under local yeah, taxes, taxed, yeah. and yeah. which might be lower. So they're than not gonna open elsewhere. a casino. They're yeah. They're gonna That's the idea. Hold their biz. They're they're pretty much their internet company there. Right. Their base of like operations yeah. yeah what are the data security laws in the fsm <laughs> are good <there> question <laughs> well, so the thing is like the way a company can operate and the way it has to handle data changes depending on where the servers are located mm, so in right, the eu yeah. they have very strict data handling laws in the u.s not so much in chu oh, it's so scary <laughs> to think I about think it nothing. so <laughs> what are they wanting to use the servers for is it just gambling? I know, right? Because associated with gambling are other things as well. I mean, yeah. or yeah, I. Damn, that's a good point. I, I was only <laughs> thinking like for tax purposes, <laughs> like they might make a lot of money. Be just but that, but I was just thinking about the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was also I just thinking about the money. I didn't think about. Like, but there are so many other things you can do with a server if it's just that's what they wanted yeah. in a place that has no regulations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the major concerns that Cartania, Senator Cartania said was sh- just the the business of gambling and all the all the vices that are that are attached to it. Prostitution, drugs, yeah. you know, money laundering. Money laundering is a big yeah, one. Yeah, that's a biggie. I mean, but in the CNMI isn't that an issue? Yes. I think they're being investigated right now. Yeah. yeah. That's an old issue over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <sighs> it's it, it's she also mentioned that they gave two reasons why they picked you. Right? Reason number one is geography. Okay, wait, we'll get into <laughs> that. Yeah, we'll get into that okay. later. And the reason number two is because of the Chukis people. They're so friendly. and But then you don't need that because it's online. Like, yeah. our friendliness doesn't translate online. Like, I don't... I it's don't like they were just BSing. Those are yeah. the lamest reasons <laughs> ever. Yeah. But what sh- kind of jobs would that create, like, over there? That's the other the thing. People like, one security guard. They, yeah. Yeah. That's... that's <laughs> she also... Also... also <laughs> met, mentioned... <laughs> 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 that they will be bringing in workers. Like, oh. Like, oh. Yeah. That's yeah, to maintain that's the servers mean. and everything. But then she said... There is a possibility that some jobs might open up, like, yeah, like mm, no somebody sweep and pick yeah, up the garbage. Yeah, yeah m- right. most likely. But then the main jobs, they'll be bringing in. Well, you'd have like to outsource that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Server admins mm. and. So what's up with location? How yeah, why geography? Like yeah, so. Prime or was it just geography? geography? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Geography. She also she asked like why, why not Palau? You know, why not CNMI, why not Guam, why not anywhere else before too? Like, why not, yeah, <laughs> you know, right. like there's a bunch of other... I think because the legal system is just the right kind of situation. I think the mm-hmm. geography, it has to do with what do they mean by the people of Chu, mm. and what Ooh. people are they talking about? Mm. The, the people who are passing laws? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, pass this, we'll give yeah. you like... <coughs> thousand but credits kickbacks. on our website oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God. it's crazy how this bill just it's already passed the senate by the way oh my so gosh it's very likely that it'll be it's it'll be happen. done this year oh. yeah so oh the, the thing dear. is wow. like this thing just like came out of nowhere that's why she wanted she approached us uh, and she said like you guys need to get this thing out asap yeah the people mm. need to know yeah, but I, 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 the good news is I believe there will be having hearings to get the public's opinion on it. Okay. Yeah. So that's coming up soon. I think that's but are they gonna but it's educate, already passed Are they going to educate the public about what... Are they what just going to say, like, we're going to get $1.2 million every year? Yeah. <laughs> there are so many ways you can make it sound good so and just kind of quickly glaze over things that... I don't know. It's, it's really suspect. It is. Know. And it's... I don't know. This company, though... We didn't get the name of the company, but uh, I don't know, man. It, they were there before this thing 
<laughs> before yeah, right? this thing got passed. So would that have influenced the legislators to vote a certain way because this company came in and they pitched this idea? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's uh, we gotta see who's gonna benefit the most from yeah, this. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's the other thing. It's just it would like help to know who the company was. Yeah. Reminds me of like was it the fire station or the airport? Yeah. Who built that? I don't on, know. on in Wero. <coughs> Who built it? Yeah. I don't know why. Because I think they they outsourced like a bunch of, like I don't know if they're Filipino or Chinese. Really? People to like to just build it. And it took forever and like they were way over budget and. I don't know. It, it just <laughs> it, I kind of see it as the same thing. Someone's getting rich, but mm. the people in Chuka aren't gonna be getting money out of that. Yeah. The 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 main reason they they put out for, for doing this uh, on online gambling is. Is money? We need. They need. We're trying to find out. They need rep- how to make money before 2023 when compact funding ends. But then the the argument to that is why this? You know, you could probably think of a bunch of other things you could do before this. You know, cryptocurrency. Is that a segue into? The- <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh no, no sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Ahead, so yeah. gambling is illegal. It is. In FSM. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's the other thing. Okay. <laughs> okay so, as the law. The law is you can't have gambling establishments and you can't sure. have gambling machines. Sure. So you can't have any no, of that. Like no slots, None no of those. Whatever. Yeah. What about bingo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not upset our viewers. Is <laughs> 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 bingo really popular? Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, so that's the other thing. So who has access to it? Wait, so establishments are illegal. Yeah. But is and internet gambling illegal? Because here in Hawaii, you can't access yeah, those it's, sites. It's illegal until... Like, it's illegal now. Yes. But with this, it they might exempt it. Might exempt it. They, they will exempt it oh, with okay. this, with the passage of this bill. But the thing is also, so who has access to those websites? So according to this, according to uh, Cartenia, she was explaining that they mentioned that locals will not have access to these websites. Hmm. So... It's not it's, a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but we have to think about like so. We're it's a law that's like has no limiting us <laughs> from. <laughs> like I don't know. Zero benefit. I mean, twelve million, a uh, one point two million dollars. Wow. Yeah, but we want to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> well, gambling is like a lose lose yeah. operation. Yeah. Except for the house. Yeah. Do we know, know really like yeah. reasons why it's illegal here in Hawaii? The House of Representatives. That I is. can't. I don't, I don't actually know. <coughs> I don't know if it's just like a sin thing. Yeah, I think it's just one of those vices. It's tied into. It's always tied in. Like, uh, someone said that. Uh, name a country that gambling is legal, where everything's fine, or where it doesn't have any of those other vices: prostitution, drug abuse, it's money a big laundering. Prostitution problem in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> And Vegas was created by mobsters, right? Is that right? I think Paul was telling me earlier. Oh, yeah. We were having a conversation about this. Anyways. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Gambling is highly addictive also. Yeah. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some. <laughs> no. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because, like, they get $1.2 million into the country. Mm-hmm. But if... The yeah. citizens can access this stuff. How much money is going to be going yeah. out? There was another thing. She mentions in the interview that this one company, they came in early because they wanted to have exclusive rights <laughs> to be. They better be the getting more than $1.2 yeah, billion. Right? Dollars gonna lock it down. <laughs> so, like, they will be the company and then they will bring in, like, clients for us. But I'm then I was thinking, like, Exclusive. So then we're then we're guaranteed to get 1.2 million. Is that it? Like yeah. That worries me because it's gonna just. It's it doesn't solve the problem that it's trying to solve, which is trying to keep money in, chew. Yeah. yeah. But they're not hiring anybody. It yeah. sounds like. <coughs> How is this gonna profit, chew state besides that? It's just a license. Yeah. Yeah. But. The deficit, the, the calculated deficit by 2023 will be, I think it was 40 million. So now it's 39 million. <laughs> <laughs> like 39.8. Yeah. Mm. And it just seems like it would be opening up a can of worms that we can't really foresee. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, 
I'm sure that'll be associated with other costs as well. Yeah, these these kind of things, these kind of bills, makes me think of like ETG and yeah, like China trying to come in and build all these resorts. Yeah, it's it's in, it's good you brought up ETG. What uh, is ETG? ETG Entertainment Travel Group. It's a a billion dollar business. Is it a private equity firm? I don't, I don't know, but it, it's owned by, I forgot his name, a uh, Chinese billionaire who was just released from prison this year. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, he was in prison for fraud, I can't remember. But he it was, a he was tied to like resorts, luxury resorts and casinos. Yeah. They wanted to go build one in Yap. Wait, what was the name of the guy? I think it's Deng Hong. Mm. Yeah. ETG. Yeah. But he just got out of jail. <laughs> and as soon as he got out, he went straight to Yap. Check on his investment. They were going to try to make like a, was it like a 99 year lease or something on some land? When he was in jail, they changed it. Uh, it's, I think you have to renew it every year now in Yap. So he went back and then he found out. And then he was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> so I think he's he might be pulling out. He might be. Yeah. But the, they, they, they had secured some talks with like some yappies politicians without even consulting the 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 citizens of yap about it sorry entertainment travel group yeah etg yeah and this kind of just sounds like another business just trying to come in and take advantage take of advantage. the space no yeah. seriously and mm. uh, take advantage of people who need money <laughs> yeah like a nation that needs money or an, a state or an economy that needs money mm-hmm. and who may not be understanding like the full ramifications yeah. like so 1.2 million a year might sound like a lot of money to some people but I think in the grand scheme of things it might be a drop in the bucket for these people and I worry that people are not realizing their actual worth and the potential that they can like achieve on their own like is uh, there's like a coconut facility coming up in chuk as well yes. and i think that's gonna be a big very happy with that a big yeah. thing as well i don't really know about it but it sounds like a big thing <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty big i think it's opening up like 100 jobs yeah. yeah so stuff like that i think is a better way to build something more sustainable mm-hmm. and better for the people better for the environment right yeah it's also it's also good for i think you can have like fuel out of like copra yeah so that's also a plus <laughs> and then food and, like for the like, animal feed yeah. yeah it's not just one thing coconut's pretty useful man. yeah it is and <laughs> i mean i i really it's like that, that route way. so much better <laughs> 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 but um like i don't know much about computers and whatever but in researching about cryptocurrency and stuff like that Mm -hmm. uh it seems like it generates a lot of or requires a lot of energy as well so how would like a server for gambling they they need to have backups for those servers yeah especially in chuk (laughs) there's a lot of rolling power out are there still power outages there when i was there there were a few yeah so that's oh that's the other thing (laughs) other than power outages when they said geography mm. we don't even have high speed internet <gasps> yeah that's so very suspicious <laughs> <laughs> yeah so come on really <laughs> okay okay i think yeah, we know what's, what's going on here <laughs> yeah. yikes so yeah well i kind of got to steer the the conversation away from Thank that you, but Robert. we were talking about yap and some games and some money going into it. So uh, this summer, right, is the Micronesian Games. Yes. Oh, 2018 yeah. in Yap. So let's talk about that. You guys excited? Track yeah. and field. Track. That's all <laughs> I'm, yeah. That's what I'm watching for. I wish I could go. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I wish I could go. Are we all going to be here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> when is it again? It's like I think July. it's July. Yeah, I know they're preparing a lot of stuff for what the we games. Got, we got beach volleyball, soccer. Mm. Ooh, more than just games. Track and field. <laughs> Wait, Sorry, that's think? their tagline on their website. Do, do they still do, like, coconut husky yeah, and stuff like it's, that? Yeah, it's under Micro unique Autobahn. to the Pacific Islands. I like right? that stuff. Yeah, they really around, use this yeah. photo. And spearfishing. Spearfishing <laughs> and spear micro all around. 
Yeah, but I'm I'm all for track. Uh, wow. I think Palau's there's there's no one that's gonna catch Palau, and I'm I'm hoping for a new micro record, hundred meter dash. Oh. Rodman, I believe that's his name. Oh. I'm calling it ten point four. <laughs> ten point four three. Yeah. <laughs> all right, start your bets. <laughs> But yeah. it's illegal in Neverson. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait a couple of weeks. So what's this over here? You've got a lot of donations from China. There was a big donation that I, I remember. Uh, I think... A friendship do donation? Yeah, a friendly yeah, of donation. I think they also sent a bunch of officials for table tennis. Oh. Is that... Oh, to like... Like equipment and like they said, oh, like, I a, like a referee. Yeah, I think they did like to help them, like train or train them to be like to oh. officiate the game properly, the sport properly. Yeah, yeah. I. Th they're yeah. they're really trying to work the region. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's also it also says here that a bunch of uh, dignitaries will be there. Wow. I think the ambassadors from the U.S. here. Ambassadors from Australia, the U.S., China, Australia. and Japan, plus heads of state from each participating country. So interesting. Yeah, it's Australia, U.S., China, and Japan. It's a lot of yeah. politics involved. Though. Yeah, it's yeah, no kidding. It's poker, man. They're, they're playing. Is Korea coming too? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the same. <laughs> they're already that there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Winter Games region. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited. Like, I I'm I love. I really like watching those games. Yeah. I hope they're like in one pay. Man, there's so much like pride going around. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like that with all all Olympics. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not very patriotic, but when the Olympics are on, I'm like, oh USA. <laughs> and then same with the FSM games and the micro games. All of a sudden, I am this singing Compare, Compare. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." laughs> the FSM doesn't have one team. No, it's it's the four states. Yeah. Represent, yeah the don't you think that's like a little weird? Why? I don't know. It's kind of cool. Wow, I never thought of that. Because you don't have, like, now. the U.S. with all 50 states going to the Olympics. I think... True. That's so if, if, they, <laughs> if they, like, uh, if they had one team, then there will be, like, five teams. <laughs> What's wrong with that, though? But then we dominate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's the Micronesian region, I, still, I guess. I think this time around, I think Palau is going to get, is going to collect most medals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they get most medals the last time? I think Guam... So it's yeah. Guam, is it is CNMI separate? Yeah. Yes. CNMI, Palau, Marshalls, FSM. No, Nauru. all four. Yeah, the four states and in FSM. Nauru. Nauru, Kiribati? I think those, yeah. Nauru and Kiribati, so seven. Oh, oh okay. more than seven. Oh, man, it's going to be so cool in Yap, man. I wish I could go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All the excitement. <laughs> I was in Yap the last time the micro games was there. I think it was micro games. How was that? It was super exciting, and the wrestling was hella exciting. Oh, that was when Ming and Phil was still. Uh, that is that weightlifting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. I yeah, think those are sports that that's micro about, can yeah. excel at. That's the thing about wrestling right now. There really isn't like one dominant wrestler, like in in micro. I don't think so. So like it's it's just up there like it could be anyone this time around oh. like right now like the weightlifters it used to be Ming and Phil now it's uh what's her name Sasser from uh, oh, Marshalls. Marshalls yeah and then in the track meets it's Palau right uh, Rodman he's he's dominating everything he's in I don't know who's dominating Coconut Husky <laughs> my you uncle know, right? that's the one that really <laughs> matters the all to around. Me. <laughs> <laughs> So what is the all around again? It's like husking. Is yeah. there like a, a swim? Is the Micronesian like decathlon. The Micronesian yeah. decathlon. I think they used to have to climb the so trees. It's as well. Swim, <laughs> dive, run, spear throwing, coconut tree climbing, coconut husking, and then grading. Ooh. Yeah. So you kind of like your full day, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> back in the past. Like run to the ocean, coconut dive in, green. get the fish. Yeah. And then to someone to you take everything to the market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever sells it first now. <laughs> yeah. Like if it was a bunch of like non-Micronesians organizing this, it'd be really messed up. What? Why do you stupid? Oh, because it's like, <laughs> yeah, like let's yeah, make yeah. them. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? <laughs> Russell. Oh, man. This is a showcase of our traditional skills. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win that one. Yeah, probably. It's, like, <laughs> super dangerous, though. You could, like, fall out of a tree. <laughs> like, no lie, though. Yeah. Uh, they should do, like, coverage on the news of it, man. <laughs> well, the one in 
was it the last one in Ponte? Mm. They had some live. They they filmed some of them live. It was on their website. Mm. I hope they do the same. Yeah. It's too bad that the internet wasn't set up. Oh, it there's still a chance. Yeah, High isn't Yap kind of okay? I don't think so. They got the oh. cable. They got the cable. Yeah, they haven't set it up, up yet. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> there's still two months. Oh, maybe I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> last time I checked, that it, it wasn't baby connected. Steps, baby steps. They haven't turned it on yet. So, <laughs> just to check, <coughs> that's the cable that Palau backed out of in 2008. They backed out. Yeah, we were supposed to get the decommissioned military cable that was gonna also go to the FSM. But really? Yeah, and then like uh, the election happened, and the current president decided to go with the the O three B, like that satellite right. mm. internet system, and then just recently we got cable. So are you telling me that that's from ten years ago? That cable? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I hope not. I don't know. Because they I just got to chuke and yeah, just yeah, a little while ago. I they just like drag it so across I'm the like whole ocean like that. <laughs> Yeah, they did. What? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying I live in Pompeii. You guys have it already. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm totally I've spoiled. Heard I good. don't even really, I'm not aware yeah. about other places. I think Roshai has it now too. Nope. No. What? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh. spoiled by Hawaii internet. Yeah. It's not that great either. But <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in Palau now, you can watch YouTube. No buffer. Oh, what? Fancy. Right? Are they watching this there? <laughs> 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 they might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think we've we need to wrap it up. We've been talking for a while here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> anything else you guys want to add? Uh, Any quick topics or just well, if, um just I just wanted to mention about the Chinese donations. Like I'm hoping those are donations. Oh, no strings. strings attached. Yeah, right. Free? Yeah. No way. And no it. way. Okay. <laughs> Then that's interesting. She's I don't like, hey, remember that favor I did for you? Right. Yeah. It's Can my ship just way. park out here? <laughs> because and by the way, we'll be gathering. <laughs> it's like a battleship. In Kobe, you don't really realize it, but like almost all the buildings yeah. in there are built by with uh, what I thought were donations. Once you get to the airport, the the thing that the the conveyor belt that the baggage comes on, that's like made by the a donation from the Japanese. Or oh something. wow! This is in Kobe. Yeah. I love that thing, by the way, <laughs> compared to how it was before. So how a lot was before? of um, the they come with a forklift, and your luggage are on pallets, and, oh, they pallet, and then they in. throw it yeah. there, and you gotta pick it up. And, oh, oh gosh. my gosh! Wow. <coughs> and they pile it on top of each the, other. The gym at C O M yeah. is made by the Chinese. The residences up at Palakur yeah. are yeah. made by the Chinese, like for the president, the vice president. Well, the F S M has relations yeah. with Beijing. Very strong relations. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Which is something I didn't know for sure until recently. Because <laughs> Palau has relations with Taiwan. Taiwan, yes. yeah. So we have a lot of stuff from them. And right, Japan. Yeah. Touchy, touchy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the airport in Chuk was uh, renovated by the Chinese as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, trying um, to build a lot of good oh, Also the governor's office and the legislature. <gasps> Same in Point Bay. Same yeah. in Point Bay. Or are you talking about So they're all wired up. Oh my gosh, it's the same in Point Bay. Yeah, it didn't really even matter to me until I think I saw an article about Tonga. Is it Tonga? How Tonga now is Yeah. kind of... So what they did was they it was they loaned, they gave them loans, right? Is that oh, it? yes. So then... So, yeah. Yeah, they had to pay interest. They had to pay it back with interest. So I'm just hoping these aren't loans. Isn't that the same with the U.S.? Shouldn't they alert them on the front? Otherwise, <laughs> I it would seems hope illegal. So. Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. saying donations. Yeah. Yay, but... At least it's a grant. <laughs> Even if it's strings attached. <laughs> All right, well, anything Better else? Than alone. Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I just want to thank everybody out there watching and sticking with us for the whole conversation oh. here. And thank Carl again. <laughs> sorry. Can I just <laughs> run through all of these <laughs> other things that? I'm sorry because Axel put them up. Okay. Yeah. So I I feel bad that we don't read them. Just other news. We'll just put the links on the bottom. And then people can just check them out. Okay. So, RMI cryptocurrency. Oh, man. Big yeah. world yeah. news. Mm -hmm. Micro Youth Summit ju just happened. And then. There's a women's one women's, coming up. Yeah, women's yep. coming up here also, yeah. In yeah. Hawaii. I think yeah. Kathy's going to be at that one. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to go. I'm going to try to make that one. Uh, uh, women's Summit? Yeah. Oh, well, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I want I think it. I saw you might have to check about that. I saw that. someone yeah. post a comment like. Are, are men Can, allowed? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are they not? I think that was my comment. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean... Why wouldn't you be? 
I'm sure they're allowed. You just, really? just check. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, don't I know. wanted to go. I, just I when I was it, looking yeah. at it, I was thinking like this was like a like an inspirational type deal. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But we're offering them like seats <laughs> in Congress now. No, no, no. Whoa, no, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move ahead. Uh, Washington State creates healthcare for COFA citizens. Oh yeah. yeah. What creates? What is that? Yeah. Mean? So they have like a healthcare. Yeah. Like package. <laughs> yeah. That will for low income. Via the government. Yes, the oh, state. Okay. Washington Which state. In will include COFA citizens because like here. Uh, it's a little different. <laughs> okay. Different. Okay. Yeah. So it's something it like um, uh, what's it called? What's the acronym? Quest. Quest. Yeah. 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 Can we access that here as Micronesians? We cannot. I don't think so. Right? Okay. I think you have to be a resident. Okay. Yeah. Of Washington okay. State. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joanne, Le- congratulations. Yeah. Oh yeah, the new consulate. New consul general. In Oregon. We they just in the that. new consulate. Yeah. Or uh, it's not open yet. I think it just opened. Okay. It's opened yesterday, I think. Yeah. So, so that's for the West Coast. There's a pretty big uh, Efficient community there now. Huge, yeah. Very active. Interesting. Or mm-hmm. Oregon, yeah. Yeah. This is in Oregon. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. And then, the uh, Palau Compact was signed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Increasing compact impact aid. Yeah. I think it went up just a little bit. The Palau compact signing i think it, it's funny because i think it was part of the omnibus bill it was like a thousand pages and then trump just like ah signed it but it was in there <laughs> <laughs> so that's how a lot of stuff gets through as a, yeah, as, that, as a writer exactly yeah. yeah so that's how i think that's how it got through that wow. is so funny. link on the bottom check to check it out yeah that is so funny <laughs> i'd be interested in the yeah. story of that there's a palau drought happening right now mm. yeah. Ooh. yeah yeah people are rationing limiting their water now apparently it's pretty severe i was reading articles before this and like some of the bottled water companies stopped bottling water what? yeah really? like some places the pressure is so low that trucks have to go deliver water yeah it's always hard to <laughs> it's pretty bad though. yeah this seems worse than anything i ever had when we were living when i was living there did they say how long this would be i don't think they know i think it's already been going on for a while yeah like the uh, reservoir that serves the main reservoir that serves Cora and IRI is down under twenty percent. Whoa. Yeah, and it has been raining. Like my family tells me, it's raining, but like not enough to replenish anything. Can people do people have water catchment? Like outside some people their houses? do. Yeah. yeah, it's not illegal or anything. Else. Oh no no okay. not at all no yeah. you can Just do that if you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it illegal here? Yeah. Or do you need permit? I think it's illegal. I think because we. We looked into it like a couple of years ago. That's really weird. Yeah. I forget the reason why that is. Uh, Mosquitoes, probably. I don't know. Some, yeah. Like it's illegal on Oahu because I know it exists on yeah, the I big think island. On Oahu, yeah. oh. you're not allowed yeah. to. Um, we were really screwed if like the ship stopped coming well, or if our, Red Hill yeah. leaks. Our thoughts as useless or useful as they may be with yeah. people in Palau. So. Yeah. It's two more items. Pacific Partnership moving through. They were in Yap. They did some medical i think they saved they saved the man's life can you explain what uh, pacific partnership is is, i believe it's japan australia u.s uh they come together it's a joint effort they go across the pacific they help they give out free medical care Mm. yeah so they're starting in micronesia i think they go all the way to the philippines and even further yeah so they start in yep it was a good showing, lots of photos and lots of stories coming out. And now they are in Palau. Hopefully they have water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> give water. Yeah. And then the last news is... Oh, actually, that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Sorry, Russ. Yeah. I don't know where you Sorry we couldn't get into all those to discuss. A lot of Because we wanted to, but we're kind of running short on time here. So we're getting kind of stretched. Okay. But I just thank you guys for another good conversation here in our podcast it's always nice to have that was fun thanks for yeah yeah thank you thank you, thank you for awesome. always inviting i know, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm glad you guys I could should make take it. over the show <laughs> 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 but uh thank you everybody at home for watching for listening uh for always tuning in always be on the lookout for our stuff on facebook we're always putting out new articles and uh links as, as much as we can 
Alright, that's it for us for now. Catch us next time. See you. Night. <laughs> Bye.